So if you are the CFO, which is the opinion you want? Unqualified or clean opinion, right? Qualified and adverse opinion. Why would you get a qualified opinion? Well, you'd get a qualified opinion, obviously, if you follow accounting principles which are not GAAP. However, notice what I told you about budgetary schedules. You're following non-GAAP principles, and you're required to do that and get a clean opinion. An adverse opinion is a CFO who's gone crazy, literally. <laughs> doesn't follow anything, doesn't want to give them anything. You know, that's... You never want to get an adverse opinion, okay? But know the difference between three of these. Yeah? So if you're, so if you're following Hot Cola, do you, for um, Gatsby standards, do you, um, you would cite Ogboa standards? You would say you're auditing Ogboa standards. You would cite Ogboa standards. You would say you're auditing as per Ogboa. Okay. You won't say uh, as per Gatsby. It's actually a great question. If you're following other comprehensive bases of accounting, for instance, like New Jersey does, a New Jersey municipality goes out to a uh, KPMG and says, audit these. What's the opinion going to say? New Jersey doesn't follow GAAP. So the answer there is they will audit based on the accounting principles prescribed by New Jersey, not by GASB. And they're going to say that in their audit opinion that they are not doing that. Do you see what I mean? So this is, by generally accepted accounting principles for government, we mean GASB. Okay? Yeah. Disclaimer opinion is if you don't have, you know, records. Remember disclaimer opinion on the United States financial statements expressed by the GAO? That was a disclaimer of opinion. Now this is an interesting ch chart.